Okay guys, as I came to the realization that I had to wait to get my cylinder heads done to in turn get them on the engine because I'm going to rebuild that transmission I got off Craigslist that was supposed to be rebuilt and clearly was not. So what I wanted to show you or at least explain to you was I wanted one of the, they call them, transmission fixtures that you can either mount to a, a uh, workbench or you can slide into your engine stand. It holds your transmission and allows you to rotate it 360 degrees so you can actually put the transmission housing in this fixture on your engine stand. It holds it in a vertical position for, in, for assembly and you can also rotate it over to where your valve body is facing up towards the ceiling and it holds it for that kind of process too. Only when I got online, did a little bit of research, because the one I want goes into these little bosses. There's little bosses on each side of the case. So basically what it does is it makes a big C-clamp and usually what it does, they'll have this nub that just kind of hooks in. Then you got a big C-clamp and it's got a bolt that uh, tightens to this part. Then you have another adjustment here that you kind of snug down on the backbone of the case that keeps the transmission from uh, wobbling while it's in the fixture. Those start at $128 plus shipping and go way up from there depending on how deep your pocket is. So let's wander over to the bench and see what we okay, find. Okay guys, what do you think we can make with just a few dollars spent on some uh, black three quarter inch steel pipe and some couplers? or some elbows and three ways, half inch bolt, one three eighths inch hex head bolt. What do you think I can probably make out of this if I try hard enough? Um, I have one more hole to drill and tap and then I can assemble the final product. And it took me a long time to figure out what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. And I think I've come up with a pretty reasonable option considering it's well under, I think it's gonna be well under $50. I haven't added everything up at this point, but you also can assemble this with no welding. My goal was to do this, try to make a transmission holding fixture slash adapter for your engine stand that requires no welding. So let me get a little bit more work done and we'll try to get some more information in this video. And if I have enough time, I'll try to go through my receipts and give you an, a total estimate of how much this thing costs. So hang tight. Okay guys, it got dark on me. So what do we have here? Three quarter inch black gas pipe, two ninety or three ninety degrees fittings but one of the fittings is a male on one side female on the other to where I could put a cap and then drill and tap it for a 3 8 thread to put in one of those hex head bolts as my locator for the one side of the case lug then on the other side I fought and fought and fought with trying to figure out how to do this the right way and couldn't come up with anything better than this basically ended up just putting a three-way on it, drilling and tapping it all the way through so that this bolt threads all the way through over to this side. It, may, it must not be 151% straight because it'll go through with a ratchet, a wrench, or a driver, but it's not, I can't do it by hand. But it was close, close enough. Close enough for what I'm trying to do. And then, I, of course, I drilled and tapped this center coupler, three-quarter coupler, for a three-eighths bolt to uh, take up, if, in there, if there is any, I think there's going to be a tad bit of slack between that and the backbone of the case. Um, right now, I'm running or testing two-and-a-quarter inch exhaust piping. That I picked up from a different YouTube video. I'm not 100% sure how strong that stuff is. I would much rather have had the two and three eighths 
like fence post uh, piping but when I went to Home Depot they only sold it in like six or eight foot sections for like sixteen dollars and fifty cents you know per pipe and uh, I don't want to buy that much so if I see any kind of uh, an issue with the structural integrity of the two and a quarter inch exhaust pipe I'll just go to metal by the foot and buy some thick wall piping that'll fit into my engine stand and drill the new one inch hole in it so it'll pass through on that deal that's not a big problem but apparently this individual I found that exhaust tube idea from he swears that he had tested it to over 400 pounds and it didn't bend so I don't know about all that but I think a fully built turbo 400 with converter can be upwards of like 200 pounds I found online that a turbo 400 with no fluid and no converter weighs like 140 or 145 I don't know if that's legit information or not but let me t carry this contraption over to the actual turbo 400 case and show you how it goes on oh real quick parts list so I have two five inch sections and two four inch sections of three quarter inch pipe I have three 90 degree elbows one of which has the male on threads on one side female on the other I have one three quarter cap one three quarter three way coupler I have one half inch bolt uh, with a nut just to kind of lock it once I get it on the back, uh, case you do not have to buy a four inch long bolt like I did I didn't know for sure how long it was gonna need to be so I just kind of went a little overboard I can swap that out for about a two inch shorter bolt at any time uh, and then of course I've got the little short 3 8 hex head bolt um, on that uh, joining coupler and I've got the uh, hex head bolt which fits nicely into the register or the boss on the side of the transmission as my locator and then I've got just a went to Auto Parts and bought a little I think it was way more than it was worth like an eight dollar little 18 inch section of two and a quarter inch exhaust pipe so that's my quick and down and dirty parts list let me get this thing over and put it on the case. All right, see if we can get this thing snugged up on here. Tightened up a lot faster than I thought it would. Before, with the ratchet, it took forever. I just want to make sure I don't over tighten it. But you get the idea. This will slide into the engine stand. However far, this will hold down on the. If I get this thing to adjust here, I've got that 3 8 bolt in there see you can it to the backbone of the case so there is my down and dirty dirt cheap transmission fixture for the engine stand now we just need to put it in the engine stand and see how it works